today on Be Something Wonderful, how to leap before you look into your new reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. On Friday, I had two different sessions. Both of them were about SPs, specific persons that they wanted to attract in their life. Interesting in these sessions, they were talking about text messages that they were receiving from their SP. And one of you said, well, I, you know, I'm tired of getting these meaningless scraps from my SP, these messages that are not going anywhere. And another one of you called the messages breadcrumbs. I'm just getting breadcrumbs. And, and, you're, and, you're, and you're wondering, why haven't you moved to your new reality? Why hasn't this moved? Well, guys, we're going to talk about this today and more. Well, I think it's becoming intuitive, pretty clear now what's happening. Think about this, right? You, th these messages that you're receiving, these breadcrumbs, these meaningless scraps, that's the new reality saying to you, look at me. I am your new reality, <laughs> right? Wanting you to take a quantum leap into that new reality, right? Because remember, it's how you see it. It's how you perceive it. But you're seeing it as breadcrumbs. You're seeing it as meaningless. You're the observer. So you, you see what you expect and you expect breadcrumbs. You expect meaningless messages. Remember, that reality is you. So you're saying, I'm, cre I, I'm meaningless. I'm creating something meaningless. I'm creating scraps. Do you see how this works, guys? That, that's a, your new reality, saying quantum leap here. It's not merely even occupying it or assuming it. It's quantum. You're taking a quantum leap into it. Because when you do, those breadcrumbs, those meaningless scraps turn into the, your, the reality that you've been wanting, right? Can you see this, guys? It's, it, it, it's, like a, um, it's like saying, sometimes some of you say to me, well, I'll come back. I can't wait to tell you that when I have the success story. Again, that's like waiting for something to happen, right? Waiting is resistance. Waiting is a state of being. Waiting is reacting to the current 3D reality expecting something to change. It keeps you in forever a state of waiting. It keeps you in a state of flux or in really in a state of that old reality, not moving to that new quantum reality, not taking the quantum leap. Do you get this, guys? This is powerful today. So I don't want you to tell me about your success story in the future. I want me to tell you to tell me about your success story now, you being it now. That's what I, I, I get that. Many people talk about, well, let's, you, you know, Tom, um, uh, can, you, can you have people talk more about their success stories? This always keeps you from your power, looking for other scraps of success stories to motivate you to create your own reality, right? Thinking, and I get it, they're nice to hear, but be that success story now. And then you don't have to go look for them from others or, if you, or, or even deliver them yourself to something in the future. Be it now, everything is a success. You are quantum potential. There's no such thing as not having success stories. Right? You're, you're always popping in and out of the existence, in and out of realities. But when you make it a big deal and you're, and you're, and you're saying oh, the things that you don't want, the things that you're not wanting to see are scraps, that's what you create. Let's hit this. So it's not the old saying is look before you leap. But, it, but in the quantum world, it's, look, it's leaping before you look. Do you hear this? Because you're the observer. So you've got to leap with that, with it, it, it and, and so that's what leap of faith means. <laughs> but it's a sure thing. Faith's a sure thing. A mustard seed, that little mustard seed turns into a mustard plant. It's a sure thing. It's absolute. Faith is a sure thing. That's the substance of things not seen. It turns into the scene. Hear me today, this morning, guys. Leap before you look, 
right? Don't, don't look at things that you think are, when you look at things as meaningless, when you look at them as breadcrumbs, when you look at your success as something you're going to report in the future, it keeps it all in the future, right? Take a quantum leap into your new reality or your new version of yourself, right? And this is what scripture says. Uh, we look at, at the things which are seen we look not, <laughs> we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Do you hear this? It's not about looking at meaningless scraps or what you're judging as meaningless scraps. It's looking through the eternal, looking for the substance behind it. And, and know that those are not meaningless scraps. That's your new reality saying, look at me through the eyes of what you want, through the eyes of how you want things to be, and then you'll see it. Through God's eyes, through, through the eyes of Christ, through the eyes of that higher you, right? Even God who gives life to the dead and calls into being that which does not exist. This is, this is scripture more than 2,000, more than 2,500 years ago, right? Talking about the quantum nature of reality, right? Who gives life to the dead, remember, that reality is dead to you. In other words, it exists on a quantum level as potential, but it's dead to you, meaning it's not in seen yet, right? Because there is no death. There's just seen and unseen. Do you hear this? There's no death. You, you, when, even when we have the death experience, we pass in back into quantum potential, Right? So he gives, thing, he gives life, life meaning it's seen, it's manifested to the dead, manifest, and calls into being that which does not exist, calls into being that quantum, that, that quantum possibility. Call it forth by looking at it. Leap before you look, right? So, so remember, it's really, it's really because we're stuck in that belief of linear time. And I talked about linear time as a tool. It is a tool. It's the tool to, to experience everything that you are, right? Remember, you're a perfect supreme being. You're a multidimensional being. You are everything. You are all there is. But the only way to experience that is to have this du experience of duality and relatively, re re relatively, relatively, relativity. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's to experience it now, but how do you do that? You can't experience yourself as a supreme being without not experience what it's not like to be a supreme being. That's what linear time, it gives us that time to see the differences, to see the relativity, to see the duality, right? We believe though, it's because of that belief, that fixed belief in, in time, in linear time, that we believe that time goes from the past to the present, to the future, like a river. There you are in the present, or what you think is the present. In a river, believing it all moves forward like that, right? And that the past is unchangeable and fixed, and that the present will lead into the future. But remember, this, all of this is happening right now. That's the linear concept, that the past creates the present, and the present creates the future right? It takes time. It's hard. It's a struggle. It takes sacrifice. I, I keep looking at meaningless breadcrumbs, <laughs> right? That's the linear view, right? That's the old version of yourself. That's the old reality. Your new version of yourself, you can get to because you're stuck here. You think it's way here in, the, in some, some imagined future that doesn't really exist. It's happening right now, right? Uh, so, so the old version of yourself is that actions or outcomes are based in the past. You're basing everything in the past, right? Even those messages are in the past, right? And you want to take actions based on what's happening in the past. In other words, the present is the past. All of that is the past. All of that seen is already done, right? The, the new version of yourself, the new you and your new reality is just out of reach and always in the future. That's your living with that belief in linear time. So the, the, so the step by step incremental linear process is focused on changing your old reality instead of choosing your new one. Some of you say, give me a step by step. I need a process. You believe in linear time. So you believe that there's a process a step-by-step step that will lead you to a new reality, 
right? That's only true in the already manifested world. That's only true when you want to create a new house out of old bricks. Because the old bricks are there and you can reassemble them and you can move the effects around and create something that you believe or think is new. But it's just a new house with old bricks, like all the spiritual teachers have talked about, right? You're focused on changing your old reality instead of choosing a new one. Looking at your current 3D reality as unwanted while trying to change it is, is what you're trying to do here, right? You are the quantum potential. Looking at it, looking before you leap, so you get what you expect. You leap into exactly what you expect. That's powerful, right? Looking before you leap keeps you stuck in your old unwanted reality. Instead, be quantum, leap before you look into the new concept of yourself and new reality. Here's that linear, linear time, what we, what we previously thought, like the past is fixed, it can't be changed, right? But all of this is happening now. That's the big news. This means the past is not fixed and that it can be changed in the now moment. And we're not talking theoretically or just a mere of you just thinking about it differently. We're talking about it is different. It's just an image. Remember, the past, a memory, is just an imaginal image. Just like you have an imaginal image of your wish fulfilled. An image is an image. A picture is a picture. It's the same thing, right? It's remembering what you want to remember, and that creates it. Right? So the past is not the source of the present. That's what that linear time indicates. Your belief in the past, hear this, means that you believe that the past is the source of your reality, is the source of your present. You believing in the past as a fixed thing implies that you believe it's source. The past is not source. You are. Right? The present is not the source of the future. The past is not the source of the present. Both are in the past. You are the source, right? When you remember the past, you're creating it right now as evidence of who you are. Do you hear this? When you remember something, even if, if it's unwanted or wanted, doesn't matter, you're creating it, you're remembering it, you're creating that image right now as evidence of who you are right now. Your belief in the past implies that it is source of the present. It's not you are. And that's changing in every moment with every belief, thought, and feeling that you have. Everything is a clean slate in every moment of now, right? Your current focus, your belief in each moment of now is cause, is source. Here's the key. Knowing that current 3D facts and reality is only a belief. And letting that belief go and then substituting it for a new concept, the law of substitution, right? In reality creation, that's the key. It's knowing that these facts, these so-called facts are malleable, that, that it's your belief that creates it all, right? And it, but, the, the, but what's happened is we've thought about something so much that it becomes a belief. And we believe in that belief so much that it becomes a truth, something that we believe is true. And it gets, put back in our subconscious as a truth of who we are, as a truth of reality. And that's what we're creating from. So we're just going to turn it all upside down here. We're going to leap before we look, right? So <clears throat> the real <clears throat> nature, and I've talked about this in other videos, I, let, I, let, I left four links below of previous videos that unpack all different nature of time as an illusion. So time doesn't move from a perceived unchangeable past to the present into the future. Rather, it's an infinite lake. It's not a linear river. And in that lake, in the present, you have beliefs. You're throwing pebbles into that lake of beliefs. What you believe about yourself, your, your self-concept of yourself and your relationship to the world. Right? What are your, what's your concept of yourself and your relation to the world? Those are your beliefs. And you're throwing those beliefs, those pebbles into a lake. And when you do that, that sends out ripples of new events, past, present, and future, new timelines. You are a reality creator, creating realities in every moment with those beliefs or those pebbles that you're throwing in the lake. If you were to look at this from the broader perspective, you're up from this, you're looking down on this. 
you can see that time is all happening at the same time, right? These, these are past, present, and future events, right? And you're always in the center of the present. Where, whatever you move to, whatever reality, that becomes the new center. And then you're sen sending out pebbles again, right? It, it, and it's all happening now. Do you see this, guys? And so, and so it's, not, it's not even a parallel reality. It's, these are your past. Remember we talked about these frames in a film roll? Look at the frames. Those are the frames. And, and so you can see there's no past, present, and future as opposed, remember we looked at, that, that we looked at reality as frames on a film roll that seem to go from past to the future. Instead, these frames are not in, not in a linear fashion. They're not parallel alternatives. They're alternatives, but they're all happening right now, and you get to decide where you want to go to in each moment of now by your beliefs. You basically can quantum leap, not basically, you can, quantum leap to a new film world, to a new alternative reality, to a new, quote, parallel reality that's not really parallel at all, and, and with your beliefs. That's power. So from the quantum infinite perspective, the inner self, the past, present, and future are all happening at the same time, right? Your beliefs, your self-concept changes the ripple of events in all time. Your belief, your self-concept sends out new waves infinitely of new past, new lifelines, new film roles, new, new events of past, present, and future with your beliefs. You create all that in the now moment. That self-concept, who you believe you are in your relationship to the world. Belief is the creative act. Right? And, and I know some of you go, well, what about the grandfather paradox? If some of you remember the grandfather paradox is if you go back in time, if you quantum leap to your past and kill your grandfather, well, then you were never born. So you would never be in the future to be able to quantum leap. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about time travel. We're talking about you create an entirely new reality. And that other reality has that past that's fixed. The script's been written there. The, the script where you killed your grandfather has been written. And the script where you didn't kill your grandfather has been written. Right? So the script where you were never born has been written. And the script where you were born has been written. It's all been written. Right? Try this. Again, I want you to suspend belief again for the next 48 hours. I know we're overlapping here. But try it when you finish with the one we talked about in the last video. Suspend disbelief for 48 hours. Not suspend belief. Suspend disbelief. Right? This is really next level Neville. Right? It's quantum revision. It's planting a new retro cause of reality. Select and choose an event. Probably something unwanted would be fun. Or it could be wanted. And revise it. Flip the entire script to something you prefer. Pick something from the past. Right? And pick an event with someone. Right? Not just with a specific with some person, a friend or a relative, right? So pick an event that occurred with this person, this friend or relative. Believe it. Suspend this belief, right? Make it fun. You don't, don't, I wouldn't make it anything too heavy where there's a lot of emotional pull to it, right? Make it something, a fun, something fun, right? It could be something unwanted that happened, but, but as you look back, as you change the memory, it's now fun, right? That would be a, a, a good one. Look at something unwanted, hear this, and then revise it into something that actually was quite fun. <laughs> that would be amazing with a specific person. <clears throat> Believe it. Suspend this belief. Remember it differently, right? When you remember it differently in that moment, you change the past. I'm not talking about just revising it as, as some of us think um, when we think about the teachings of Neville got it, that we're just seeing it differently so we can create a better future, so we can imagine our wish fulfilled. No, I'm talking, we're talking about actually changing the past. This is what Neville didn't say, right? Remember it differently. This changes your present and future. This then you move, you take a quantum leap to the new reality. That your present now changes in accordance with your new past, 
with that new event. And for sure, you'll have fun seeing evidence of that, right? And it also changes your future. But have fun just to show you that it's malleable, that it's flexible, that you're changing it, that you do leap in and out of existence in every moment. Really, that's how to leap before you look into your new reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Fit Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors on Facebook. You can join us there. You can join us on Twitter and Instagram at Tom Karen, or you can visit our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. With great love and great love, light, and infinite gratitude, see you soon.